Hey there everybody. Today I'm going to teach you how to use Scratch to create a virtual drums kit where you can use your voice as the instruments. So first thing you need to do is go to the Scratch website. If you've never used Scratch, Scratch is basically a um, an MIT program where you can learn coding, very easy coding. So today I'm going to show you how to use that very easy website. There's a lot of other assignments and projects and activities that you can do. And we'll start with this one as a music idea. So first off, you can join Scratch and make an account if you want to. That's a, a good way to save your work. But if you're just trying to get started today and just kind of play around with it, click on Create up here on the top left. So Scratch always loads you up onto a basic tutorial on how to use Scratch. You can watch that if you want on your own, but I'm going to go ahead and skip it because we're not going to be doing the move tutorial for the cat that's over here on the right. So basically the way Scratch works is on the left you have your locks, on the middle you have your work area, and on the right you have a display basically of what your code looks like. Since we're just trying to make some audio and some fun recordings today, we're going to go to the left where it says sounds. You notice that there's a meow sound, a cat sound. And um, I'm actually going to erase that sound because we're going to record our own voices today as a drum set. So when recording sounds for basic backbeat, we need at least three different sounds. We're going to get a bass drum, a snare drum, and a closed hi-hat sound. So if I scroll down to where the little volume option is, I'm going to say choose the sound and scroll up to the microphone where it says record. I need to allow to use my microphone. Okay, so as soon as I click record, it starts recording, and I'll get my bass sound first. So for this one, I'm just going to say boom to get a nice deep bass sound. Boom. So I stop recording, and if you notice, I have my sound wave from the entire time I press record, but the only part I really want is this peak over here where I have my boom. So I'm going to move my little track over here and cut out everything else, and I'll save that. So I'm wearing headphones, so I don't think you'll be able to hear it, but if I press play, boom, I can hear myself saying boom. Uh, I also kind of want to cut out this beginning because it's going to be a little bit of a delay when I press the button that I want the boom to sound. So I'm going to go back to this little option here and kind of cut that out because I want the sound to happen right away. Boom. There we go. And I'll change that sound to bass drum. That way I know how to find what it's labeled as when I go back to my code. I'm going to do two other recordings. The next one is snare drum. And for this one, I'll just do like a k sound, which will be kind of like a rim shot or something. K. Then I'm going to have my waveform. I'm going to cut everything out up until the beginning of that sound. So generally in this, you want a, a strong attack. K. Except I have a little too much empty space in the beginning there. There we go. And I'll rename this one snare drum. And my last one is going to be a hi-hat sound. So I'm going to try to do a closed hi-hat like a kind of like that, a little sizzle. All right. So now that I have my sounds basically done, let me save that. There's my hi-hat. One of the cool things you can do with Scratch is that you have some options down here to change your sound. You can speed it up, which brings the pitch higher, slow it down, which brings the pitch lower. You can increase or decrease the volume. You can fade it in, fade it out, reverse it, and even give it a cool robot effect. That's just something you can play around with later. So now I'm going back to my code, and I'm going to click on where it says sound. So there's a few options here with sounds. I have play sound hi-hat until done or start sound hi-hat. Since we're trying to make a little bit of a drum machine, we want to be able to play the notes or the sounds pretty quickly. So I don't want to play it until it's done. I just want to start the sound. So whenever I press a certain key on my keyboard, I'll get that sound to start every time I press it. Since I have three different instruments, I'm going to bring in all three of them. And I'll change the first one to bass drum, second one to snare drum, and I'll leave that third one as hi-hat. Okay, from there I go to where it says control, sorry, events, 
and I'll bring in three of these when space key pressed. So the way Scratch works in most other block-based coding programs, you can just snap them together like this. And as soon as they're connected, that code is working. So you would just have to press the specific key to make it work. So if I press the space bar right now, I'm going to hear the bass drum, the snare drum, and the hi-hat. And when you're playing drums, sometimes you do want all three instruments to sound at the same time, but sometimes you want them to be different. So just for the sake of ease, I'm going to use the, uh, the first three letters on the keyboard on the top left. I'll use Q for my bass drum. W for my snare drum and E for my hi-hat. Again, I'm just following the first three letters on the top left of the keyboard, but you can assign any key that you want, whether it be numbers, space bars, shifts, anything like that. So I'm just going to line it up like this. And now when I press my Q, boom, get my bass boom. drum. And if you notice, it's highlighting it in yellow when I'm hearing that sound. Boom. W gives me the snare drum. <laughs> and E gives me the hi-hat. So let me disconnect my headphones for a second. See if we can hear that now. Boom. It'll be a little bit louder. So if I think that that sound is too, lo too low, which it is, I'm gonna go back to sounds. I'm just gonna increase boom. the volume. Boom, 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 boom. At some point, boom. It starts kind of distorting it, but it's okay for what I'm doing now. I've increased the volume of each one of them. So now I go back to my code and let's test that out. Boom. <laughs> if I'm trying to do a backbeat, I want to start snare and bass on beats one and three. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Boom. Then I can just add my hi hat on every single beat as well. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Boom. 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 <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> you can also do is you can record different sounds or even import different sounds if you want to. So when you go back to the sounds tab on the left and you hover over that little blue thing without clicking on it, it lets you choose the sound. Scratch has this very long list of pre-recorded sounds, guitar sounds, barks, bells, birds, some bossa nova loops. So pretty much any sound you can think of. And if there's something that you want that's not on there, just hover, hover over that blue thing again you can record like I showed you. You can surprise and just get a random sound with some random effects, or you can even upload a sound. So if there's a specific thing you want, maybe from YouTube, you can download that MP3, upload it here onto Scratch, and like I showed you earlier, you can cut out all of the parts that you don't need and then just keep the one part that you do want. So hopefully that is a fun activity that you guys can do on Scratch. Start a very simple drum track. And then if you are signed in to, to Scratch, always go back to your code and make sure that it's saved. It'll give you an option up here where you can save everything. So I hope you enjoyed it and see you soon. Bye.